Hey Dee, it's Kendall Jenner. Welcome to my house. Come on in. Kendall Jenner recently opened her doors to show off her newly remodeled mansion Mulholland Estates, which is rare for the low-key member of the Kardashian-Jenner clan. The overall vibe that I was going for was really peaceful. I wanted to feel super calm. She bought the multi-million dollar property back in 2017 from none other than Charlie Sheen, and after some time-consuming renovations, the place has been transformed into the sanctuary Kendall's always dreamed of. We'll take a look at her new and improved home, and we even found the listing. Kendall Jenner is a model, media personality, influencer, and member of basically the world's most famous family, the Kardashian Jenners. But unlike her sisters, it seems Kendall prefers the state of the public guy a little more. I think we can all agree that she's one of the most private and low-key members of the family, if not the most. Although she may not have as much real estate as her billionaire sister Kylie, Kendall has still lived in some beautiful homes and her current place seems to be the nicest of them all. She bought the place a few years back, but only now has she truly made the place her own. Apparently she's spent over a year on renovating the place just to make sure it's perfect. Kendall said about her Los Angeles home. I like a house that has character. When I walked into this place, I was immediately drawn to the peaceful, Spanishy, farmhousey vibe. My life involves a lot of chaos and travel and high energy, so I wanted a home that feels serene, a place where I can simply zone out and relax. In 2017, Kendall was named the world's highest paid model by Forbes, and although she might be a little quieter, she's still making a ton of dough. At the moment, her estimated net worth is at about $45 million or more, so not too bad for a 24 year old. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Last year, we looked at the homes of Kendall Jenner, but since she just revealed her newly remodeled Los Angeles hideaway, it was about time for a serious update. The place looks so much better now, and it's actually all her style. We'll take a look at Kendall's current home where she used to live and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and Zayn Malik, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before Kendall lived in her current home, she had a modern mansion close to the Sunset Strip in Hollywood. It was her first big home purchase, and the home previously belonged to star couple John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Kendall paid $6.5 million for this place, which spent 4,800 square feet over three stories, with six beds and five baths. Tucked at the end of a private gated driveway in one of the fanciest neighborhoods in the Hollywood Hills, this home was exquisitely designed and crafted, also offering beautiful views of Los Angeles. There were soaring ceilings and towering walls ideal for hanging art here as well as an indoor-outdoor vibe throughout the home. An oversized steel and wood door opened up to the massive great room with floor to ceiling windows and brick accents. Nearby there was the gourmet kitchen with Italian cabinets, marble counters and a large center island. Other highlights include a bar, media room, freestanding fireplace and home gym. Not to mention there was an oversized walk-in closet with the master suite to accommodate the model's ever expanding wardrobe. One of the best features of Kendall's previous home was definitely the rooftop deck. Sliding glass doors on the third floor open up to this patio space decked out with a dining area, lounge, and fireplace. Any entertainer's dream. In addition to offering views of the hills and canyon, the terrace also looks out onto the secluded pool. Down on the lower level where the pool is located, you'll find another outdoor fireplace to relax by as well. Despite Kendall's modern mansion being highly secure and in a gated community, her home was broken into only after about a month of living there. According to TMZ, about 200 k worth of jewelry was stolen among other things, and this wasn't the first time Kendall was robbed either. She said that even in her old condo, she got robbed before, stating, I got robbed, I had stalkers that literally broke in while I was home. It happened one too many times and I just felt trapped. That being said, Kendall quickly said goodbye to her modern home in Hollywood Hills West, even though she barely got to enjoy it. She sold it for $6.85 million in a deal finalized outside the multiple listing service. At least the final price tag gave her about $350k more in her pocket than she paid for the home back in 2016. In 2017, Kendall invested in a new home, a Spanish-style mini-mansion in Beverly Hills. 
The home costs her $8.55 million and is located on a premium street behind the guarded gates of Mulholland Drive, perfect for a celebrity of her stature. Like I mentioned, the home used to belong to Charlie Sheen and since Kendall bought the place she decided she wanted to transform it into a sanctuary totally her own, clearly changing Charlie's previous decoration and vibe of the place. According to listing materials, her home sits on just under an acre of land and inside spans 6,625 square feet with 5 beds and 6 baths. Kendall's home offers a welcoming courtyard with fountain and inside there's a split level floor plan throughout. The home has a large dining room, an office, family room and fully equipped gourmet kitchen. There was also a movie theater which Charlie Sheen used to have decked out in a somewhat over the top all red design, but Kendall has done something totally different with that altogether. Opening the doors to her Mediterranean style house for the upcoming issue of Architectural Digest, Kendall revealed her preference for neutral tones and an organic vibe with designers Waldo Fernandez and Kathleen and Tommy Clements, the model and reality star spent a year renovating her home. She created a serene space with a warm, minimal palette. The coziest space seems to be the living room which offers a fireplace, two large sofas, a white shag rug and wooden beam ceilings. This is my, I guess, formal living room. I made sure there was no TVs in here. So we get into a lot of deep talks in here. We actually hang out in here more than I thought I would. Off the bar, you'll find a dark toned powder room with a 300 pound sink that looks like it was carved from a cliff. Definitely earthy to say the least. And the guy who did my house basically said it was the hardest part of the entire house was putting this in. They had to like try a million times because they had to like restructure the walls behind it and stuff. Kendall transformed the kitchen into a dreamy space with marble countertops, bottle green cabinets and a large island, which is good because apparently she loves to cook. Because my last house I never cooked and then I got here and this kitchen just like makes me want to cook. Beside the kitchen, there's also Kendall's TV room that opens up to the yard outside. There's also an office space with another fireplace attached to a long breezy walkway leading to the courtyard. I don't personally use it a lot, but my girls do. In addition to all of the contemporary touches like custom sofas and unique wall art, Kendall showed off her taste for period pieces like an antique Turkish rug, a 19th century French chaise lounge, and a set of teak kitchen stools designed by a mid-century architect. Kendall said she was really proud of her newly renovated property, explaining, This is the first home I've done completely and I think it's a genuine reflection of who I am and what I like. In the end, I'm still a young female in LA just trying to have some fun. And remember that outdated movie theater? Well, instead of fixing it up, Kendall opted to turn into something completely different. This room, which I have now created into an art studio, this was a movie theater for like the first year that I lived here, but I had an idea. I was really stressed out, I was working a lot, and and me and my friends used to just go in the backyard and paint. I was like, I do that all the time and I don't really use this room as a theater so much, so I converted it and I love it. Yep, she turned it into a full art studio. Kendall also made another big change, converting two bedrooms into a fitting room dubbed the Hannah Montana room and a glam room. And this is where I do all my fittings and kind of throw clothes in here. This is where I pack for long trips or trips at all. She said her fitting room is always kind of a mess. On the walls of the nearby powder room, there are frame magazine covers featuring Kendall herself. Her master suite has beamed ceilings and a massive comfy looking bed. There are also glass doors to walk right outside and an additional seating area or separate lounge with fireplace. Kendall says that her ensuite bathroom may have had the biggest makeover of all the spaces in her home. Some significant structural changes included expanding the shower to twice its size, adding glass to make it feel more open, and raising the ceilings. But the standout piece here has got to be the huge brass tub by Catchpole and Rye. Outside, Kendall's backyard is surrounded by trees offering extensive privacy. Thanks to the home's shape, many of the rooms have glass doors that open to the outdoor area as well. On the grounds, you'll find lots of seating, a large lawn, and of course, a pool and spa. So now we've gotten an in-depth look at Kendall Jenner's current living situation as well as the Hollywood West home she briefly lived in before. It seems that after a year of completely renovating her home, she's here to stay at least for a while. Kendall made her current Beverly Hills property her sanctuary with a warm vibe, earthy tones and lots of art that suits her taste. Although the place may not be as massive as her sister Kylie's resort style mansion in Holmby Hills, Kendall has everything one would want from her pool to an art studio and much more. What was your favorite room in Kendall's house? I gotta say I liked her giant closet and glam room situation that she created in her home the most. I mean, who wouldn't want two bedrooms converted into a getting ready space? I just want her entire closet. Anyways, be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as whose house tour should be up next. Follow me on Instagram to chat, be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!